man. How did you move so much? What's up, amigos? Welcome to Nick Bidlip. For today's video, I'm going to be doing two print jumps. The first one's going to be a three color. You guys are already seen it. It's the one I've been doing for my boss for our work uniforms. And the other one is going to be a six color, but it's not going to be on four shirts. And uh, you might be asking why I'm going to be doing that. Well, I'll explain to you in a moment. Okay, so first, I already did the, the three, the, I think it was 12 shirts for my boss. The up here, I'll show that in a moment. But I'm going to explain to you guys why I'm doing the six color. Now, about a year ago, there's two guys that went to our work when they sell salsas right there. And, you know, they started, you know, getting a little product, little by little, they started growing. And eventually I asked them if they wanted some, you know, uniforms for themselves. And they say yes, but they asked if I could do it in payments where that every week they'll give me money into like, I have enough to buy one, the shirts, then later on do the actual print job. And I said, yeah, there's no problem. We're doing good for the few few weeks. But then Kobe hit, you know, the sales went down and they decided to, you know, wait on that for a moment for the shirts and, you know, weeks passed by and a month passed by. And eventually one of the guys, there's those two, one left. So there's only one left on with the whole salsa. And he told me that if I could just print the shirts all his size and told him no problem. But he wanted to wait till, you know, things start picking up again. And again, Weeks went by, then months went by, and eventually things started getting back to normal. But then all of a sudden, his car caught on fire. I mean, later he told me that he was driving by with his family, and then smoke started coming out, then his whole car just, you know, ignited. And so that was a complete loss. And that moment, I already knew, well, it's gonna take longer for him to, you know, start getting for shirts. And eventually, I told him, you know what? I could just print the shirts with the amount of money he already gave me and he told me if that was a problem and i know it's okay with me like i have nothing else to do so and that's how i end up doing i'm gonna be end up doing four shirts because that's how much that's how many shirts i was able to actually print with the amount of money he gave me during that time so that's what we're doing here today but before we get started i'm going to show you guys this whole a quick video of me doing my boss's shirts i mean nothing really Details since I already done this on quite a few times, so I don't want to be you know doing the same thing over and over again. Okay, so I was not going to talk during this video, but I kind of messed up in the whole process of registering. Normally when I hot register is, you know, I put the film on the palette before I put the adhesive on here and start lighting it to each screen with the film. And from there on, do the touch print to make sure it's registered. But I accidentally put the adhesive on here, so there's no way I could put the actual film on there. All of it's gonna get stuck on there, it's gonna ruin the film. And so I decided to put a, a test sheet on here, but I can't see the center line, so I kind of eyeball it and I actually take the film onto the, the fabric. So now I'm going to register screens using the film on top of the fabric. Totally different than I expected, but you know, sometimes we make mistakes. He made that perfect register, man. <laughs> Hilarious, man. That was a habit. Don't believe me? Oh, right, right here. Look at that. 
I wasn't expecting that, especially because on the green one, I'll register and it came moving. That's why I decided to do with the green first. That way I could make the adjustments to the other colors. Then this came moving, but I realized those ones didn't move, but turns out it was perfect. Amigos, it's finally done. Now this was only 12 shirts. Pretty simple. But yeah, so I'm done. I'm gonna put these shirts away. Then I'm gonna clean the ink off the screens. That way tomorrow, I'm gonna set up the sixth color. I'm gonna flip this around. But yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, Amigos, so we're back. Now, probably gonna, you saw, it's actually a few days ago, I did the, the print job for my boss. Last Friday, I took the day off, taking my time, retaining my screens. And once I did that, I put all my screens. And now I'm actually going to be using five wood screens and one aluminum screen because I don't have enough screens. And the aluminum, I'm actually going to have a sideways so it could fit on the pallet. Even though I could have done it in this way, but I just decided to do it this way. But that day, I caught six screens because that's what I needed. But while my screens were drying, I actually went downtown to do a few things. It took longer than I expected. By the time I came back, it started like around 6 p.m. The sun was already going down. So if I knew that one screen didn't come out properly, if I were to reclaim that screen, it would take a long time for it to dry since there was no sunlight. But luckily, all the screens came out perfect, man. I was surprised, man. But yeah, but this time I actually wrote down my times on my timer, man, because next to my timer, cause on my last video, you saw how like, I was confused about the times I actually gave my screens. But this time I guessed it and that came out perfectly. I actually gave it. Let me check again. 175 seconds on yellow mesh and 145 seconds on white mesh. So I actually wrote it down so I won't forget next time. Okay, it's time to register. This time I actually take the film onto the, to the palette. And I'm going to start off with white since this is going to have a white underbase. That's the reason it's six colors. So let's start with that one. Hold on, I'm actually going to take these screens first. I'll just tape up with the air screen as I go. Actually messed up when I was supposed to scream. I did it on the wrong side. Oh, because on this screen, I did actually I didn't really get the registration marks on here. So this one.
So I'm re registering all over again because on the black, the screen was way too out of the, oh, this thing right here, the clamp, and all of the screen was being held just by a little tiny bit. So I decided to move the film, the alignment a little bit down. So I had to register all of, all of them all over again, but that's okay. And also I'm putting tape since I'm already doing it. So right now I'm already on, this one says green, I mean the red my bad. Okay, we're done. It's a problem. I don't have enough small squeegee, so I want to match. I can to do it. I'm gonna have to print it sideways because I want to do it actually front. Since this is a collar shirt, the buzz will get in the way. But maybe it could work. I'll see. I think yeah, I think I have enough room. I'm put some tape down here just to be safe. Let me add the ink, and we're gonna do our first test print just to make sure everything's aligned. Okay, my so I'm done loading up the inks. So now it's time to do my first test print. Okay, so so far so good, except I do need to line the green just a bit. Oh, to line that green. So here's the one I need to line. The green is off. I'm gonna move it more to the left. So first the other base. There, <laughs> so the screen will get stuck to the pallet. This right here, there's some ink clocked up there. Lucky it happens. Now, I'm actually drying every color since I realized that the adhesive, I didn't put enough adhesive on the palette and the fabric is actually lifting. So I already know that it's moving. So most likely if it moves, the ink's gonna be in the bottom where I don't want it to be. That's why I'm drying it right now. Oh my God, the 
flag move? How did you move? Okay, amigos. So I finally got that registering. I, I made a lot of adjustments. Like something kept going wrong, but I think I finally got it. And I'm gonna go for a shirt. Okay, I'm a little nervous. I'll be honest. For the brown, again, my little small squeegee, it broke, and I don't have any more small squeegees, so I decided to pull out the squeegee keychain that Octopus sent me. Nope, I did not like it. Did not like the way it came out. I can tell on the sauce so I can burn it. Read it. Okay, shirt number two. Okay, you know what? I'm not happy with this. I'm not liking the print. The red, I don't like it's clogging up. I can't align the green. So I'm gonna have to redo this all over again some other day. I'm not gonna take the day off. Now I can take my my time actually registering better. Look at that. The A is gone right there. You can't really tell. That's the A right there. I think it's gone. Because the screen game kept getting clogged up. Okay. So, like I said, I'm gonna re revisit this print job later on. It looks good from far away. I'm looking at it right now, the shirt's laying down, but I don't want, I'm gonna feel embarrassed handing that those side. Even though it is just four shirts, but still, man, I wanna get this right. And I actually end up fixing the design. I think I'm gonna make up, make up the sauce that look a little bit bigger, because I did a test print here. You see the white shirt, you can see the A is still kind of like, you can barely see that line. So yeah, so I'm gonna fix that up in Illustrator, make it a bit wider. Just print that section and re burn that screen, the red one. So, yeah, so I don't know how I'm gonna take to do this, but probably I don't know when the guy's gonna come to my work. I'm gonna show him those two shirts. I'm gonna tell you now, I'm not happy. I'll just give me some time and I'll do, it, I'll do it all over again. Or if he doesn't mind it, I could just do the rest of the last two shirts like that. But I don't know. It's still, it's still gonna bother me though. So, I don't know when. I'm gonna probably tomorrow. I'm gonna. Fix the film, print it, and maybe if I have enough time, I'll burn the screen all over again, the red one. I'm gonna clean all my screens. I'm gonna clean them all up. That way they could be clean, because I still feel like when I was doing my test prints, then the, the fabric, the palette was still hot. And when I would do the next coat, the next color, it will pull the ink on and actually end up clogging my screen. So I'm gonna clean this all over again. And okay, amigos. So. We're back here. It's been a few days since I did my other two shirts. Like I mentioned, I didn't like the way they're coming out. And I had an issue where the screen started to get clogged up. And sometimes that usually happens when you flash and you literally cool down and you print the next color. And that screen pulls off some of the ink from the previous color. So I was getting that issue and mostly a lot of my screens were getting clogged up. So I decided to clean them. I cleaned all the screens again. But there's something I did different this time. Actually, one, I switched the ink, the white ink. Because I was using this, this Ultra Poly White. That's what I was using. But I realized that it wasn't coming that old paint or that dark. And I realized that my previous shirts that I had been doing, I have been using this other white, which is supposedly a high opacity. So I'm going to switch with that one. Because also I realized that on the one you saw I did with the two color, the Elite Artist, I did one for my brother. I used this ink and I had no issues. So that, that was the first 
change I made. Also, I was about to reburn this red screen right here. I was gonna reburn it because, like I mentioned, for example, here the A, I lost the detail because I was getting too many. I wasn't giving too many strokes. But again, the reason I was doing that because the screen was getting clogged up as well. It was getting hard to register right there. So I made a new film where basically I made it wider and I gave this. That way the green have a white outline around it. I was going to reclaim it, but I didn't want to because again, I'm going to clean the screen, reclaim it, dry it, uh, put new emotion, burn it again, re-register it. And I didn't feel like doing that. So I just cleaned it again to fix the problem of, you know, the palette still being hot and me printing the next screen and the ink getting pulled out. On the heat gun, it does have a low setting. I mean, I've been, I was using the high setting, which was really hot and blowing all the hot air. And I think occasionally it was actually drying part of the, some part of the print that I didn't want to. So I decided to do it with the low one and I tested it right now on this white garment and it got dry and it wasn't that hot. So that helped out a lot. So now I'm going to do a test print with the dark garment. So I can actually do a final test print. I think I mixed the ink well enough. So again, low setting this time. Okay, let me actually mix this white ink good. It's not really mixed. Bring this back to the screen. Okay, so got a little shadow going on here. I think because when I did the test print on the white garment first, I had to clean the bottom screen. I have a little shadow right here with the chili. But again, you see? Okay, I'll do another test print because there's a big gap difference right here compared to the one previously. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll do another test print just to see if I can fix that white gap between the the green and the little brown part. But I did it right now, and there's no gap. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so let's do the last two shirts and I actually talk to the guy. I mentioned him about the shirts that the two that I already, already did that I didn't like, but he told me that it was no problem. He didn't he didn't mind it. After all, he already knows that. Since it's only four shirts, and he doesn't want me to, you know, lose money on this. So he said that he doesn't mind. But even with that, after I'm done here, I'm gonna go downtown and I'm gonna buy two other shirts, regular shirts, just to give it to him, you know. That way I won't feel that bad sending those two shirts out. But in the meantime, I'm gonna do these two right now and yeah. <laughs> How that black move? Look at that. Okay, so got that huge mistake. Normally, I would just think this shirt's not good no more, but I'm gonna try something that the master I think do before, where he just basically prints over everything and does it all over again. 
and then it might will be a big block of ink but I'm going to try to see how it comes out but only the top hat the top part this part I'm going to fix that right there so let me give you a better let me get the camera closer so you guys can see exactly what I'm going to do what I'm going to do is since this is good I don't want to mess this up I'm going to just block this right here I'm gonna do this entire part all over again but if it doesn't come out right no worries I'll just get another shirt so let me first start off blocking when I don't block out don't want the red the white so I'm doing the white under base but not all of it the green the black too I just I just need the curved thing See, I should have done that with the other shirts, the ones that came out totally wrong. Even though you could do it, I seen the master where I, I took him a shirt where I said I messed up on this. Can you finish the rest of the shirts? He got those shirts that he literally put the shirt on, the palette, register every color. He'll got the screen, he'll see it, white it out, then get rid of the color, register it, and do it. And he saved me, I think, like two shirts. So again, my master, man, learned a lot from that guy. Yellow. I think it's actually the yellow that move. Not the black. So this is where Erica Excuse my language, but this thing's pissing me off. Ah, why does it keep doing that? So this is the black that moved then. Damn you black. Okay, now I see. Now I see. So again, let's do this all over again. What happened to this thing, man? No, the shirt's gone. I don't know what happened, man. Okay, so that was a disaster. I feel like for some reason the black move. It went lower. I don't know how that happened, but I have to deal with this later because I have to go already. I have to take my kids to the dentist. But when I go downtown, I'm gonna buy some shirts. I'm gonna buy another color shirt because this one's done, and I'm gonna get uh, probably a couple regular tees. Okay, so I'm back. I'm gonna see if I could save this. I was gonna buy more garments. I went downtown, but saw the prices. I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna wait for Don Armando when he makes, if he orders some new shirts from Yes Bank, I'll just ask him to order me some to replace this one and have some regular t-shirts because down there, expensive for just buying one. So I'll wait to buy the wholesale. But anyways, why can't I do this? Let's go move this up. You move so much okay we're gonna do a, a test print just to see what the hell is actually going on with the this print don't know if it's the white to move the colors or just the black but whatever it is it's pissing me off everything great 
It worked just what I needed. So I'm gonna do another test print to see exactly what, what colors move, but this brown tape, it actually got stuck on here. I have no idea why. I can barely unclog this so. off. Why is anybody no shirts? <laughs> they all have it. And this one too, the red. So if I take this off right now. Oh, oh see? So this is gonna be a bit tricky thing. Not even one day on here, it's already killing. I even switched the type of brown tape that I used, but I never had this issue before. All right, great. Okay, so let me just end this video. So, you could say this was a failure. This print was very stressful, man. Six green, six colors. <sighs> I think my first mistake was actually, I used the wrong white for the other base on the first prints. Can I show? Fine. <laughs> yeah, I used the wrong ink, white ink for the white under base, which kept clogging my screens. As well, since I was using the high setting on the heat gun the palette did get too hot which caused the ink to be hot then when i will print the next color i'll lift some of the, the ink up there we start clogging some of the screens especially the red one and uh, since some parts wasn't getting like a clean print i kept doing more strokes but as i did that i lost some of the detail which caused to ruin two shirts which caused to ruin the detail here on the a you see that? I can tell the rest was pretty okay. All was pretty good. Except that A. And supposedly I clean. Did another print, but I didn't clean one of the screens properly. As you can tell, some of the white had some red. And again, I lost some of the detail here. The green, lost a little bit of registration right here. So I cleaned my screens. I switched the the white under base. I started using the low temp. Did the print all over again. I think this is where the black star failing on me. You see it went down. I was not happy about that. And with the last shirt, <laughs> definitely everything went wrong, man. It, all, it, it totally moved. And I tried to fix it, but that black was, it was I don't know, it just moved way too much. So yeah. So the best thing for me to do is I'm only going to hand them like two shirts on those ones. Then later I'm gonna ask for another month to order me some new shirts so I could replace those bad ones because that's embarrassing. Even he, even when that he told me that it's, they're okay, it doesn't matter. But I still, I do not want him to be wearing that shirt around because we're gonna ask get that shirt. And I want them to say like, I want him to mention me when the shirt's good and not wearing a piece of air on there. So I'm gonna take those again. And for these screens, I'm just gonna, Clean them all up. We cleaned it because the tape got stuck on here. I don't know why. Usually that happens after I leave them for like, like a week or something, but now it's the same day. So yeah, so I'm gonna clean all this up, reclaim them, expose them again. But luckily I already know the time, so I'm actually gonna label this so I won't forget which is color. Which which screen I use for which color. But yeah, this print job was very stressful, gave me a lot of headaches. But again, it's gonna be a lesson for me, you know. Later on when I do another job, I know what to do, you know what to avoid. And one of them is to actually order more garments when you someone gives you a print job. At least order like an extra garment, like two extra garments just in case you do make a mistake, you can replace them. So, if you have any questions or tips for me, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And what else? Don't forget to subscribe, follow me, you know, on Instagram, on Facebook. And in the meantime, amigos, I'll see you guys next time.